Never a dull moment with Tracy Sinclair. <laughs> Never a dull moment. She's singing in they between the breaks. <laughs> anyway. All right. Hey, you know, a lot of us uh, grew up in an era of the magical superhero who defended good and honest people of the world. Yes, we all look like this. A world where you could just put a towel around your neck and call it a cape. And fly around your house, annoying your siblings. I've done that. And <laughs> soaring to super heights. A dream, a book, and peanuts. That's today's All Good News. That was good. Okay, my name is Dennis Vassera, and the first book I wrote is The Adventures of Peanut Power, Peanut Power Races to Nome. It all started for Dennis. Let's go back to 1967. I was five years old. He was running around the house. Soon I was putting a tower on my neck like a cape, and I was munching on peanuts, and I was bouncing around through the house. So naturally. And my brother and sister started calling me Peanut Power. And through an entire career. So for 30 years, I, I taught at a little elementary school called Ursa Minor Elementary. And I was, that little bright idea for a book, The Adventures of Peanut Power, finally came together in a low point for a lot of us. You know, for me, I was lucky because everything happened during COVID. And during COVID, you're at your home, and you're, you're just... Uh, you know, you basically have nothing to do. He so had again, just retired. Within uh, four months, we had put together three more books. And what's really neat, all three books were printed right here in Anchorage. And Dennis just didn't do books. He created one of the only Iditarod board games in the world. Just like the real Iditarod. It's a challenging game. It's a challenging race. You master this game, you're going to know the Iditarod. So naming the puppies was easy as peanut butter pie. Dennis reading from his original book and all of this, yes. homegrown. Yes. yes, I was born and raised right here in Anchorage. So far, sales have been pretty good, but all of this is more about a childhood dream. You know what? Follow your dream. And the one thing I've learned over the years, too, don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do it. All right, so Peanut, like, he, he, he's, he's saving the world. He's saving Alaska, but how does he know? How he, does he know? He gets a call from the president of the world saying, peanut power, the world's in trouble. We need your help. So we, peanut power gets on his peanut-shaped phone. He calls his superhero friends. Well, I, uh, Dennis, I have a surprise for you. Uh, we're, gonna, we're going back in time. Oh, good memories. I have a cape for you. Okay. It may look like a towel, but it is not. No, is this, is, this is... That's it right there. Got to get the cape on. Got to have peanuts to be superhero. There's a lot of them. I don't know if you know. Let's do it, Dave. All right, let's go. So with our cakes on, me and Peanut Power flew around the studio looking for mischief, shenanigans, or even danger. I see danger. Do you see danger? I do. Over there. Let's go. Get Dave. Let's okay. go. The Adventures of Peanut Power and Dennis Becerra. Wherever there's an identity ride. Peanut Power will be there. Wherever there's an interview. Peanut Power will be there. And he's here. Yes, Dave, I am. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. That's the all good news. <laughs> and more on Dennis and his series, The Adventures of Peanut Power. You can just go to our website, ktuu.com. Find a story in the all good news section. Yep. So, Tracy, it's, it's nice to have a cape you can fly with and also super absorb it. And I got you one right here. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yes, I did. Do you feel like you can fly? I definitely feel like I can fly. Can you help me out? Yeah, yeah, let's do this. All right, hold okay. on. Let's get you a little wind, and then we're going to fly into the next promo. Let's go. Dun, dun, dun. Here's Nora O'Donnell with what's coming up. Coming up right here on the 